What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome to another episode of Ruin And uh, Just going to run you through the team quick and get straight into a game. So we're in the second round of the Advanced Cup. I've got Fabio in goal, uh, Marcelo, Dede the centre-back, Felipe Santana in form, Dani Alves, Hulk, Lucas, uh, Carlos Alberto, Michel Bastos, Alex Pato, and Dagoberto, the in-form version. Uh, Dagoberto, guys, is... Four star skills in FIFA 12. He was a uh, five star skiller and a a right forward, I think, or a right winger in um, in FIFA 11. And he was actually one of my favourite players in FIFA 11. Oh wait, we got. Oh, how's this latency? Is it going to stay green? Yeah, we can work with that. Um, yeah, he was one of my favourite players in FIFA 11, and I, I spoke in the last Ruin Random a little bit about. Uh, my favourite players in FIFA 11 and I asked you guys to give me some of your favourite squads from FIFA 11 and from what I could tell not a single person did which is absolutely okay um, but if you do have like a favourite squad from FIFA 11 whereby all the players are still in FIFA 12 feel free to share it with me um, because uh, I, I'm just like I don't know I, I, we're getting towards the end of FIFA 12 now like FIFA 13 is really really close you know I'm going to be going to Germany on Monday going to get to play that and um that's going to be awesome and you know the demo should be coming out soon and everybody's getting super excited about all the new information that's coming out on uh, on FIFA 13 um, myself included you know but like I tend not to do videos about FIFA 13 for the simple fact that there are so many out there already uh, I don't think you guys need yet more opinions you know what I mean like uh, you know whether or not you you agree um, a lot of people assume that once you do if you do a video like if whoever does a video about FIFA 13 is just money hungry, which I disagree with. People like to put their own opinions out there, but uh, for me, I just don't see the ooh, I just don't see the point uh, in making a FIFA 13 video um, at the moment when it's just like screenshots and skill games, and it, it's like when I saw Black Ops 2 trailer released, the multiplayer trailer at least, um, it was literally my my sub timeline. Sub timeline. Wow, Bastos one star weak foot for the win. Look at that, unbelievable techers. Uh, yeah, my subscriber box. Like when not, you know, obviously my, for who I'm subscribed to. I'm subscribed to quite a lot of COD people um, for reasons. Basically, I, I used to watch a lot of COD videos, and uh, I don't really watch so many anymore. Um, but yes, yeah, so I used to watch a, a whole ton of them, and literally as soon as that trailer was released, oh here we go, Dede the centre back. Um, Oh, Dede the centre back. Here we go. Steps. Oh no, no trust. Oh, get that in. Um, yeah, as soon as I like within an hour of the Black Ops multiplayer trailer being released, there must have been close on like I don't even know a hundred Black Ops two multiplayer trailer breakdowns in my sub box, and I just thought Jesus Christ. Like everyone obviously has their their own valid opinion on the trailer breakdown. Or on the trailer in general, but uh, it, it was just like overwhelming. There was just too much information there, um, and I, I I don't want you guys to feel like the same with me and FIFA 13. Like I don't want to. Uh, oh come on, be offside. Yeah, I don't want you guys to be like, you know, because also I haven't. You know, the day it comes out, you get a crap ton of FIFA 13 uh, like screenshot breakdowns and skill game breakdowns and stuff. And here I am, like coming late to the party, like a few days later. And you guys are going to... Oh, come on, man. That's a through ball to Pato. And you guys are just going to be like, yeah, Nep, we've seen this like 10 years ago. And I'm just going to be like, yeah, okay. Won't be doing another one of those then. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, so I don't really, I didn't really do one. Um, but I have seen the skill games on FIFA 13. And they do look really, really fun. Um, it, it's really going to encourage people to start using manual controls. Um, oh, what the fuck is that? That's some typical FIFA bullshit, that is. But yeah, they're going to start encouraging people to use manual controls and stuff. And it, the, the skill games in general should just really, really help advance people's games a little bit. Um, just because, like, so many people do do... Oh, I said do do again. I actually do that a lot, don't I? Um, but so many people do do the simple things so bad, it's, like, it's crazy. Do you know what I mean? When it just comes to, like, I don't know, a little bit of defending or... Um, yes, come on, Lucas. Oh, Pato, wake up! Wake up! Um, 
Oh, fail. Let's try that again. Hey, win. Fail. Um, yeah, I mean, it really should just help people get better at the game. Um, which will be awesome, you know, like... Oh, crap. Um, you know, obviously it's nice coming up against people that don't play very good because it's it's nice to win but um it's also nice to play challenging games now i asked a question on twitter yesterday uh, which several people took the wrong way but i genuinely asked because i genuinely wanted to know and i asked the question that when somebody that uses contained defense comes up against somebody that else that uses contained defense are the matches boring um and most of people replied with the fact that they're actually far far more interesting and a lot more entertaining because they're a lot more like stressful you know like there's just so much more work that has to go in because you have to change your game style but at the same time you're still using contained defense so like you know you've basically got two people that are doing the same thing um oh go on lucas that's a smashing goal um so yeah apparently like you it's basically such a hard fought battle and it's like a lot of possession football a lot of passing and they're usually won by the odd goal here or there um, sometimes a free kick or a penalty and apparently it, it's like it reflects real life football a hell of a lot more uh, which I found quite interesting I thought the the majority of the people would be like no no this is you know it's, it's boring it's blah 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 you know a bit crap and stuff and I actually had one guy tweet me uh, and said um, said to me exactly what I thought like obviously I didn't think that this was exactly how it is but he said to me um, wait here we go Pato for the win. <laughs> Lucky there. That was a very bad time to use that skill move, but it worked out quite well for me. But yeah, so some guy tweeted me saying, I, I can imagine a uh, contained defender versus a contained defender just standing in the middle of the park looking at each other for the full 90 minutes, and that made me laugh quite hard. Um, but that's, of course, not how it works out. And uh, so it kind of makes it like for FIFA 13 when people are going to be getting better at the game because the game helps you with these mini games and these skill games and stuff it's kind of going to be like people are just getting better at the game uh, and it should make for a lot more interesting whoa that was nearly the wrong skill move yeah it should just make for a lot more interesting skill moves oh chess roll ah oh, i tried to hit it on the volley it didn't work um so yeah that's that so i i'm really really impressed with what i've seen from fifa 13 so far like really impressed um and i'm really gonna i hope it's gonna work out for the best and I, I hope it's going to be a better game than FIFA 12 is um, just because I, I do like FIFA 12 don't get me wrong I think it's a solid game it's got a lot of issues no doubt uh, but it, it is a solid game in my opinion um, but FIFA 11 like as I said in the, the last video or the video before was in my opinion just a much better game a lot smoother had just much better gameplay uh, it, I guess for, for many reasons you know I've I make no no bones about the fact that I don't enjoy playing against people that contain defense. And also, you know, at the, at the same time, guys, I, I realized that um, a, a lot of what I was saying back back then when I was genuinely complaining hard about contained defense was for the simple fact that I was used to winning a lot on FIFA 11. I was used to being very, very good at the game. I could score a lot of skill goals and my record was insanely good. And then we come to uh, FIFA 12 and I'm not so good at the game and that's because contained defense and instead of me literally taking a step back and saying right so if contained defense is in the game people are going to use it I'm going to have to counteract it I just sat there and complained about it which was completely wrong of me and for all those videos that I put you through where I bitched and moaned and like literally spent hours complaining to fuck about contained defense I apologize um, and in FIFA 13, if there's a game-defining factor that causes me to be better or worse at the game, I, I promise you I'm not going to sit there and moan about it for fucking ages. I'm just going to take a step back and re try and figure out a way to, to beat it, basically. And I have figuring out, figured out a way to beat contained defence in, um, in... Oh, wow, that was terrible. Um... In FIFA 12, and people ask me quite a lot, like, how do you beat it? And I'll explain the briefest terms of how I managed to... Oh, that was... Oh, that's some lovely little skill there. Um, if he scores from this, that's, that's a fucking nice goal. That's a really, really nice goal. 
So the way I tend to be contain defense, like whenever I come up against somebody who's good at containing, because containing is a bit more difficult than um, the game might have you believe. It's not just as simple as holding X or A. Like there is timing, uh, changing players, and just in general, like keeping your defense. Um, oh wow! Oh wow! I was almost certain that was going to be a goal because we're in the 45th minute. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there is a little bit more to contain defence than just holding X or holding A if you're on the Xbox. Um, but the, the best way I've found out is if somebody's really good and like maybe has five at the back or plays ultra defensive or just has a really solid team and like is just really good at defending anyway, um, the best thing to do in my experience for, for contain defence is to switch to like a 4-5-1 formation or a 3-5-2 um, and put really, really fast wingers on. Uh, I know, you, you know, people are going to be like, oh, so you've gone from contain, you know, one person's contain defending, the other person's um, pace abusing and uh, so be it, so on and so forth. But you put on a couple of really fast wingers and put a target man up front or, or two target men, you know, someone like, um, like Gomez or... Um, who else is a good target man? Torres is probably a real good target man to use. Um, oh, wow, what a save. And uh, literally spam the wings. Because when when somebody contain defends against you, you can run past them. You can't run into them uh, like or run toward them. Which means like things like, uh, like running down the middle of the field just doesn't work. Because... Um, Wait, hold on. I'm trying to concentrate a little bit here. Yeah, it just doesn't work because you're going to end up running into the person that's contained defending time and time again, and you'll never end up uh, catching catching the ball or catching them out and, you know, that kind of stuff. But uh, if you just get the ball down the wing and literally just sprint down the wing, sprint, because they'll never, ever dive in to tackle you. They'll just be containing you the whole time, uh, and you'll manage to get to the byline, and then you can cross it in. And, uh, you know, if you've got a good target man... You might be able to score. If you haven't got a good target man, you probably won't be able to score. You know, the crosses aren't always going to work either. Um, oh, shit. Wow, can't believe I got that back. Um, yeah, the crosses aren't always going to work, but they are going to work a lot of the time. Alberto! Ah. Um, but yeah, that's that's literally the best way, guys, that I've found to be contained defense. Lucas, another rocket. Come on, son. Boo! Oh, is that going in? It's hit. Fuck me, that's hit the bar. Um, oh, Jesus, look at the spin on that. Um... And that's the best way I found to found to beat it, guys. Uh, just one thing I want to address as well. This morning's video, play to win. I said, uh, "Welcome to Ruin a Randomer." It's not Ruin a Randomer. I don't even know where on earth I got that from. I wasn't. I, I obviously just wasn't really paying attention. Like I really wanted to speak about the sub boxes, um, and I wanted to make sure I was thorough with what I was trying to explain. Um, so I didn't really uh, didn't really concentrate on what I was what I was saying which was pretty bad of me I guess uh, I should pro oh come on Bastos oh that's a foul ref uh, yeah I should probably concentrate a little bit more on um, on what I'm saying and what I'm doing is that going to go in oh second man free kick really doesn't work as well in FIFA 12 I think they've really they really fixed that aspect like if, if you guys were with me um, oh what a save um, yeah, if you guys were with me from, um, oh my god, that was terrible, I don't know why I took that extra tiny little touch that just put me out the wrong side, um, wait, I'm going to get, I'm going to finish the sentence in a second, oh my god, if you guys were with me for the start of my, like, my YouTube career, if you like, um, I made a second man free kick tutorial for FIFA 11 that worked, like, literally, like, 99% of the time it was very very effective and it it works in FIFA 12 it's just not as effective um, but uh, hopefully in FIFA oh come on Alves boom oh it's still going to go in that's going to go in that's going to go in ah. um, yeah the hopefully in FIFA 13 there's, an, there's some more good free kick techniques because I will be putting I know <laughs> I know I say a lot of stuff. I say like I'm gonna have put out a skill tutorial. I'm gonna put out a free kick tutorial and this and that, and I never do them. And the reason being is just because of my work schedule. Actually, guys, it's like when when I have the the thought of putting these videos out is usually when I've got one of my days off, and I sit there and I think, yeah, I could easily get some footage for this and just put it out and stuff. But it's not always quite as simple as that, and that's the reason why they they never really 
come into fruition. That's why you never really actually get to see them. For the simple fact that I don't have the time to do them properly. Um, which means, you know, I shouldn't really say that I will do one if I'm not going to do one. Oh, that's a cracking ball. Get that. Oh, oh, wow. Oh my god, how the fuck did he manage to pick that up? Um, so yeah, but in FIFA 12, in FIFA 13 even, guys, apologies. Um, I will be taking a fair bit of time off work and getting a lot of good videos out for you guys. Hopefully they're good anyway. Um, oh, that would have been so fucking nice. I really should have just tapped that away there perhaps, but uh, if that went in, that would have been unbelievable techers. Um, all right, let's go. I really need to. I really want to score against this guy because I've been dominating him the whole fucking game, and he's. This is the sort of person that will end up going and scoring a last-minute winner against me, which won't be very good. And uh, that's terrible. Dagoberto really isn't that good. I was going to try. I think I explained before. I was going to. I tried to make a. This is why I'm hot for him, um, but he's just not good enough. Um, he's like his his style of play. The, the player he is just isn't very good. Uh, go on, Lucas. Yes, there it is. Lucas has been a boss this game. I've really enjoyed him. Um, yeah, no, I really don't enjoy Dagoberto. And I, I thought Elkerson was a much better striker. And the reason why I played Dagoberto this time instead of Elkerson, even though Elkerson's five-star skills, is simply for that extra little bit of pace. Um, it's only 83 pace for Inform Dagoberto, but it's 81 pace for Inform Elkerson. But, oh, crap. Come on, man. Can't let him get a goal. That's some solid defense. Jesus Christ, man. Ugh, this game sometimes. I don't even know how he managed to get that goal. Like, it's always the way. As soon as you score a goal, your defense stands there just like pigeons. The pigeons? The pigeons stand there. Um, your defense just like, it's so easy to split a defense as soon as you've scored a goal. It's it's crazy, man. It's one of those weird things in FIFA that's been, been around since, like, the very, very early FIFAs. Like, as soon as you score... You either concede or you score instantly again straight away. Um, if I go, if I don't win this game, I will be uh, a little bit frustrated, really. Um, but it's it's going good this game. It is going good. I'm not going to lie. Is that going to be offside? Yeah. Fuck. 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 So what minute are we in? I don't want to go to extra time here. 85th minute. I've had way more than enough chances to score. Five, six or more goals against this dude. Oh, shit. See? Oh. If this guy goes and scores it, yes. Defense. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Right, come on, Dagoberto. This is you, mate. Okay, maybe it's not. Um, that That's that's the biggest problem with Dagoberto there. If I had anybody like uh, maybe Marlos or... Oh, shit. He's going to cut that back, isn't he? Yep. Oh, that is some beast defending. That's what you get for being a cocky cutback prick. You yeah, boy! That is the luckiest, kind of the luckiest, but also some awesome defending right there. Um, but yeah, if, if Dagoberto had a little bit more pace, I uh, would definitely be able to do a lot better things with him. And there's Pato. That's the 90th minute winner. I'm not going to concede this lead now. Um, but yeah, he hasn't unfortunately got the pace that I would like him to have because he would be a lot better player if he did have a little bit more pace. Just squeeze that in the near post there. Pato on his weaker foot. That's what I'm talking about. And God, this could have been such a different outcome. I'm I'm very, very happy with myself for getting that goal right there. Uh, I do feel like I deserve that. I really shouldn't have even conceded one goal against this guy, let alone three. Managed to get a 4-3 win out of this, guys. Uh, I know this is a late upload, and you're still going to get a video tomorrow, but I really just felt like putting out a video right now, and I'm kind of glad I did because the, the the gameplay was pretty pretty sexy, pretty sick. Um, have a look at the match details just here at the end. Look at that. He had three shots and three on target. 25 shots, 16 on target. Look at where they're from. Fuck me. Peppered his goal from in and around the box and only managed to score four. If he had just tucked that ball away instead of like if it, instead of cutting it back or when he cut it back if he hit it first time instead of trying to run into the goal he could have scored four goals from four shots and beat me 4-3 um but uh, fortunately for me that wasn't the case I did absolutely destroy this guy he didn't deserve to score that many goals but that's the end guys so thank you very much for watching if you hit that like button it would be amazing and I will see you next time cheers